In Algebra 2, Section 3.8, we're dealing with inverse matrices. So basically, what we're doing is we're trying to find the, um, we're trying to find the opposite of a matrix so that we can cancel it out. So if you see here, right, if I had just this equation and I wanted to get rid of 2, okay, if I wanted to get rid of 2, I would do the opposite of 2, which then I would divide both sides by 2, this canceling this out, leaving me with just x on that side. Well, in an inverse matrix, matrix in an inverse matrix, um, I can multiply a times its a1, a negative 1, and then these cancel out, and I end up with just x and y. But what I do on one side, I have to do to the other. So then I have to multiply this by a to the negative 1. Okay? This side by the a. So in order for me to solve, I not only need to find the inverse, but then I need to multiply the inverse with my answer. And you'll see that a little bit more. But the whole goal is to find the inverse, which is this is the equation for the inverse. Okay? is to solve, um, is to um, cancel it out on one side and then find the answer, what x, y equals on the other side, right? So this is going to bring um, multiplication, so uh, how to multiply matrices when we get to this part. So first, let's just practice about finding the inverse. So this is my a, so I need to find my a minus 1. So my a minus 1 would equal 1 over AD, so negative 1 times negative 2, minus BC, which is 8 times 0, and then um, negative C, D, negative B. So what they did here is they flip-flopped. So they took this and they switched it. So this is negative 2 and this is negative 1. And then they took C and B and they left it alone. Do you see that? But they made each one negative. So then, I can't have a negative 0, so that's C0, but this stays a negative 8. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this number, and whatever this number is, I'm going to multiply each number by that number. So if I have um, negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2, yeah, positive 2 minus 0. Negative 1, 2. And this is 0, so 1 half. And I'm going to put this down. Negative 2, 0, negative 8, negative 1. This is my inverse. So I'm going to apply it to each one. Remember when we're doing scalar multiples? I'm going to take this and apply it to each term. So it's going to be negative 2 over 2, 0 over 2, negative 8 over 2, and negative 1 over 2 which then my inverse would be negative 1, negative 4, 0, and negative 1 half. Right? That's only the first step, unfortunately, but if you could, um, if that makes sense. Uh, so in the equation, we're finding basically the determinant down here of the original, and then we're switching this around. Your answer should be a matrix, because again, we're going to multiply this matrix by the answer slot in order to figure out what, um, in order to figure out what x and y are. So go ahead and uh, pause, pause it, write it down. I have one more board for you. All right, so this is asking me to solve. So it's kind of got it jump started for you as a setup. So here's my equation that they want me to solve, right? So I'm going to separate both. I'm going to put both sides into matrix, um, and then I'm going to and then I separated the coefficients from the numbers. So if I were to multiply this out, remember it's row by column. So it's it'll still be one times x, right, and then two times y and then 3 times x, negative 6 times y. So remember, row by column, row by column when I multiply. So I haven't done anything, I've just, I've just reversed it, okay? Instead of multiplying the matrix out, I've separated them into the two matrices. But if I multiply these back out, I should get this as original. So I haven't 
broken any rules. Now, again, in order for me to find, if this is my A, right, and I want to get X and Y by itself, just like I would want to get an X or a Y by itself in an equation, I have to multiply it by A1, A negative 1, whatever this is. And then, so these cancel out, but then I'd also have to multiply this side by A negative 1 and multiply it out. I don't know why this is divided. This way. Um, and so when these cancel out, I end up with x and y, and whatever this answer is, is then my answer in how to solve this. So my first thing before I do anything is to find the inverse of a. Find this inverse. So I'm going to find inverse. OK? So if this is my 1, 2, 3, negative 6, my inverse would be 1 over 1 times 6 minus 3 times 2. 1 times negative 6, sorry. And then um, I'm going to take this and switch it, so this would be negative 6, 1. And I'm going to make these negative. Right? This is from the formula. The formula that you used here. So you should have it. Even though it's not on the board, it should be on your notes. So then we have 1 over negative 6 minus 6, and then, which is, and then negative 6. These carry on. So this is negative 6 minus 6, which is negative 12. And then now I'm going to go ahead and apply it. Now, I know I'm going to end up with decimals here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. And I'll show you why for a second. Because what I can do is I can multiply this. After I multiply these together, then I can multiply the whole thing by this. So I'm going to separate it. Now, I know for this one, I put it in for this one. But then I, I don't want to deal with a whole bunch of fractions just yet. And I can do that um, as long as I apply the same. It's, this whole thing is still the inverse. It's just kind of like a not reduced fraction. You know, I haven't, I haven't technically reduced it, but it doesn't mean I can't use it. It's, it's, not, equal, it's not any different value. So um, my second step, right, this becomes right here, this is my a negative 1. So my a negative 1 is here. And so I'm going to take this and put it here, negative 1 12, OK? And then I'm going to put negative 6, negative 2, negative 3, negative 1. Um, I don't need to put it on this side because I'm assuming if it's inverse that they cancel out. So I end up still with this side just x, y. So all I have to do is multiply this all out, and I should have my answer to x and y. So I'm going to uh, multiply it out. Okay. So this is a uh, 2 row by 1 column, right? No, 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 sorry. Yeah. Two row by one column and two row by two column. Here's the thing. These insides are not the same, OK? And if they're not the same, I can't multiply them. So a solution to that is I'm going to first put A1 in front and watch how this happens. Now, remember, I still have that negative 1 12th at the end. So what happens is this becomes 2 by 2, and this is 2 by 1. Now the insides match. It does matter on the order of multiplication for matrices. So now the insides match, and my key matrix is uh, 2 by 1, right? So two rows, row 1, row 2, and one column, column 1. So I'll have row 1, column 1, row 2, column 1. multiply this out. Almost there, guys. So my first one is row 1, column 1. So row 1, column 1. Negative 6 times 9 plus negative 2 times 3. And then the next one is row 2, column 1. So row 2, column 1. Negative 3 times 9 plus um, 1 times 3. 
So then we end up with negative 54 minus 6, and then negative 27 plus 3. So then I end up with negative 60 minus 24. Right? But this is not my answer yet. I still, still don't forget this negative one. Okay? Don't forget that. So I still have to do one over, negative one over 12. But now, these are divisible by 12. So this is um, negative 60 divided by negative one over 12 would give me a positive five. Right? And then um, negative 24 over times negative 1 12 would give me a positive 2. So my answer is my x is 5 and my y is 2. So if I plug x in there um, and for 5 and y 2, I should get my answer. So hopefully this made sense. If not, don't worry. We have class time. Write it down and try page number 10, page 202, number 10, page 202, number 10, and I will see you in class.